become our student, and get access to effective and free educational materials. Did you work in a charity organization? Yeah. I had been in the charity organization for two months and I learned a lot from that experience, including love, sympathy, equality, and so on. In what way did those social activities have impact on your mind? I think it had direct impact on my way of thinking. I learned to look at people and things from an overall perspective. In that case, I am not easy to be edgy. Hello, Mr. Compton? This is Susan Miller. Hi, Susan. What can I do for you? I'd like to take tomorrow off if that's all right with you. Let me take a look. Just a second. That's no problem, Susan. See you on Wednesday. Hi, Stephen. Take a seat. How are things at work? It's coming along well, but it is a little delayed. Can you finish it on time? I'm pressed for time and I am afraid I need someone to help me. Okay, I will send Becker to help you. We need to get the brochures done and send them to our clients on Friday without delay. Okay, we promise to do it well. What forms should I fill out to collect unemployment? You need to fill out a special form to apply for unemployment benefits. Where do I get the application form for unemployment benefits? You can call the Employment Development Office and request a form. What information will I need to provide to apply for unemployment? Be prepared to provide your employer's name and address and what dates you worked. What else will the Employment Development Office need? You need to be prepared to show that your unemployment is not your fault. If you have a termination notice, that would be great. What will happen next? The Employment Development Office will call you for an interview. What experience do you have with office machinery? I know how to use the Telex machine, the photocopier, and the word processor. By the way, I took a computer course in university. Where do you want to be in five years? I want to be a manager. Very good. Any questions? Nothing. I think I'll take the job. So that concludes the introduction. Now let's move to the first part of my talk, which is about 2006 fiscal year marketing plan. So first, right off the bat, when looking at the marketing plan, tell me some of the goals that we had set this year to begin with. We wanted to appeal to a younger set of consumers and also, in line with that goal, redo our image. That's correct. If you remember, we also set a goal to double distribution in overseas markets. Now, when looking at the data to evaluate whether or not we made our goals, there are three things to consider. First, the original condition of the market. Second, our marketing numbers from the previous year. And third, our final sales figures for this year. Now I want to describe for you the second and third parts. If you look at the overhead, You'll see a graph the blue line represents our sales from the year 2005. The red line is the sales in 2006 as you can see. Our sales in 2005 were quite slow to start off with, but managed to make decent performance in the last part of the year. On the other hand, you can see this year's sales took off like a rocket. Hello. This is Francis from XYZ Company. I would like to discuss with you about a new project sometime next week. Do you have time to meet? 
Well, I am not sure. Let's me check my agenda. Okay. I am free on Tuesday afternoon from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. Is it convenient for you? It is okay with me. So I will be arriving at your office around 2.15 p.m. Do you have a projector in your room? I would like to show you some related charts. Yes, there is. See you then. What are our areas for growth? What sectors do you see the most potential in? If we are going to pull our sales numbers up and develop the brand, we got to work across the board. It's not just spreading out to new markets that we have to address. I think we'd better first pay attention to developing our brand in the markets we already have. We've reached the awareness level, but we haven't established customer loyalty. People know who we are, but they still don't trust in our brand. I don't see why we can't work on opening new markets and developing the markets we've already penetrated at the same time both aspects of developing our customer base and developing our brand are important. Could you hold the elevator, please? Thanks a lot. No problem. What floor? I'm headed to the 18th floor, the top floor. Oh, so am I. Do you work there? I have an interview today with Dale Mendoza. Do you know her? Yeah, I know her pretty well. To tell you the truth, I'm really nervous. I had a dream last night that I was being interviewed by a three-headed monster that kept trying to bite my head off. Oh, wow. My palms are sweaty just thinking about it. I just hope Ms. Mendoza won't be able to hear my teeth chattering. I just hope I get through this in one piece. I lost track of time, am I late? Yes. What kept you from arriving on time? My friend needed me to help him. I realize that everyone has emergencies. Just get here on time from now on. I will try. My apologies. I appreciate you saying that and would like you to join us in our meeting. Sure. I'll sit right here. Wonderful. Does anyone have any questions about this project? I am confused about the projected revenues. I'm glad that some of you get it. But let's go over it once more. Are you okay there? Oh, my computer crashed again. Can I help? That would be great. I hate working with computers. Dear, they are unreliable sometimes. Mr. Black, I'd like to take some time off. I've been feeling exhausted these days. That's no problem. Let me see you still have 10 days annual leave left, is that right? Yes. I was wondering if I could take another two weeks off. That's long leave. How's your project coming along? The project I'm in charge of now will be done by the end of this week. I'd like to take my leave from next Monday on. Well, all right. But you make sure to tie up loose ends before you leave. Thank you, Mr. Black. There are no immediate projects coming up at the moment. Mr. Smith will be in charge during my absence. He is taking part in several projects as my assistant and knows how to maintain relationships with our clients. Great. I hope you have a good relaxation and come back refreshed. I will. Many thanks, Mr. Black. How do you do? I need your help in selecting a foreign market to invest. Fine. I have your letter and I've made some notes. How can I find out what countries to invest? 
We have quite a lot of import and export information and can give you figures on population, consumption, production, and foreign exchange reserves. Great. I want to get an idea for the purchasing ability in various countries. But you're also going to have to give some attention to trade restrictions. You can get much information about environment of investment. Subscribe to our YouTube channel to become a part of our growing YouTube community and to learn English effectively.